Hi, I'm Mike Bloss with Lipper Components, and today we're going to discuss the basic operation of your MyRV wireless system, its capabilities, and the functions that it can control. Your MyRV system allows for control of multiple features, leveling, slide outs, awnings, lighting, tank monitoring, and much more. It also offers how-to documents, troubleshooting videos, and support documentation. The MyRV system is a very powerful tool that can really enhance your RVing experience. Let's take a trip inside and see how this works. Now that we're inside of the coach, let's locate the tablet in the docking station. On this specific floor plan, it's located behind these doors. Let's open it up and take a look. As we mentioned earlier, the tablet is housed within a docking station. The docking station allows for charging and wired capability of the tablet system. You'll notice that there's a slider button on the right hand side. Slide, it will click, and turn on the screen. With the tablet now on, you'll notice that we're within the MyRV application. The MyRV application, as we mentioned before, houses how-to videos, troubleshooting docs, owner's manuals, search, FAQs, and you'll notice at the bottom, the MyRV control panel. The MyRV control panel is where you will access the controls of the various options available on your coach. It's important to remember that to gain access to the MyRV control panel, you must have power to your coach. Now that we're within the MyRV control panel, you'll notice the various functions and populated. Let's look at the lighting. There's various lights listed in the lighting controller. You can control each one individually, or you can turn them all off or all on at once using the master switch. It's that easy. Now that we've finished controlling our lighting, let's head back to the control panel. This can be done using the home button in the upper right hand corner. You'll see that we can access our leveling, slides, and other various functions. However, if we'd like to go back to the MyRV application, we're going to utilize this home button here on the bottom left hand side. Now that we're back at the main menu, we're going to explore using the system wirelessly. We're going to remove the tablet from the dock and head outside to control some of the various functions. However, first, we want to make sure that we're connected to the wireless hub. The wireless hub sends out a Wi-Fi signal, very similar to our homes, although it does not have an internet connection. Its connection is used simply to connect to the MyRV system. In order to verify that we're connected to the wireless hub, we're going to go to the main menu and scroll down and look for the apps and internet option and click on it. Once inside, you'll see various options. However, we're looking for the Wi-Fi manager. As you can see, within the Wi-Fi manager, it will display any Wi-Fi signals within the range of the tablet. In this case, we're currently connected to the Link network. This is our Wi-Fi hub for the MyRV system. It does not have internet. If you would like internet, you would have to connect to one of the other surrounding Wi-Fi networks. Now that we've verified that we're connected wirelessly, let's go ahead and set up camp. We've already set the leveling system, so we'll start with the slide outs. We'll choose our slide out option. And in this case, we want to run our main slide. Now that we got the slide out, let's run the awning. We're going to use the home button to go back to the control panel, choose awnings, and in this case it's on awning 2. We choose awning 2, and we extend. Now that we've got the awning extended, let's turn on some lights. We're going to hit the home button again, come back to the control panel, choose the lighting, and in this case, we're going to go ahead and turn all the lights on. So we'll use the master light button, press the on, and you'll see that all the lights 
Come on. This is Mike Bloss with Lipper Components, and this concludes our basic operation video of the MyRV system. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to contact us seven days a week on our customer service helplines.